Good morning. This is Melanie Dawn, and this is Dawn of Wisdom. Today, I want to talk about intuition versus insecurities. I personally have struggled many years, I still do, how to tell the difference between intuition and insecurity. I've made a number of decisions in my life out of insecurity. Uh, Insecurity run my life. As a young girl, I did not know or understand what intuition meant. I had it, but understanding what it was meant was just not on my radar. I look back now and understand how my intuition probably saved my life, but at the time I was clueless to why I would get certain feelings or why I chose to walk away from a situation or a person. I wonder, was it my intuition or was it my insecurity? Both, I think, have kept me safe at times. I wish I was able to tell the difference. What exactly is intuition? Whether you call it a gut feeling, an inner voice, or a sixth sense, intuition can play a real part in um, people's decision making. According to Buddhism, intuition is part of the sixth sense. It is an awareness of knowing of a fact or reality that is not related to any normal reasoning. It comes to mind without proof, evidence, or understanding. How the knowledge was acquired. Uh, it is an insight about events that may or may not take place. It surpasses all logic. Intuition is your internal communication system. That inner voice that is on call at any moment. I love that. Everyone possesses the natural ability of intuition. However, some people are able able to develop it much further than others. What is insecurity? Insecurity is a feeling of general unease or nervousness that may be triggered by perceiving of oneself as inferior in some way or a sense of vulnerability or instability which threatens one's self-image or ego. When you are raised in a fearful home, when you grow up with fear, with tons of insecurities, it becomes difficult to understand. Is this intuition or insecurity? If it's even something you think about at all. I never thought about it. Insecurities can cause us to make poor decisions. You feel it's right, but it was actually made from a place of insecurity. Intuition leads you to take important, loving action on your own behalf. Insecurity is rooted in your lack of worth. Intuition is a vigilant defender of your worth. Oh, I love that. Let me repeat that. Intuition is a vigilant defender of your worth. You know it's your intuition because you'll be able to feel it. If you let yourself, you'll feel it in your belly. It will send a shiver down your spine. Your heart will race. It will quicken your breath. Now we question. I know I do. I struggle and often question, is this my intuition or my insecurities? I'm much better, but I practice. I practice ways to help me tell the difference. I practice trust, trusting myself more. It's hard, but practice is the key to everything. So I'm going to give you six practices that I do that help me connect with my intuition, which is my desire and my hope that it helps you guys. Number one, spend time alone. I can't stress this enough. Spending time alone is powerful. You can connect to your inner self. Take a long bath. Go on a long walk. We need to connect to our deepest inner wisdom. It's practice. For some people, it's very difficult to be alone. But once we realize that uh, we need to go inward, being alone, if we stay off the TV and we just are alone in ourself, it's just, I can't tell you how powerful it is. It took me many years to learn that. But um, trusting ourself, trusting and being okay with being alone. Two, right. Writing helps us clear our minds of mental uh, chatter. Writing helps us to get our feelings out. I do this every morning. I write, write, write. I get it out. I go back and read. I sound like a crazy person. 
but it helps me to get it from the inside out. It, it opens my insides up for other stuff. Number three, meditation. Meditation heightens your intuition. Even if a few minutes a day it can increase your ability to hear your intuitive voice. Spending time in silence will help you hear and interpret messages. Practicing meditation helps us to be present in the moment by helping us pay close attention to our bodies and our surroundings. It opens doors to find solutions to problems. It helps us to recognize the positive things about ourselves. Takes time. Doesn't mean the negative won't come in, but boy, it does wonders. Four, get creative. Engage in a creative activity, music, writing, drawing, painting, etc. Bring cre- creative helps. Being creative helps us quiet the cognitive mind. It allows your intuition to speak up. I love creative people. I myself am not very creative. I'm sure I am. I was when I was younger. But not so much now. I um, I often think, God, I'd like to find something I'm really creative at. But nothing's come yet. Maybe, maybe someday. And five, practice getting comfortable with how you feel. Ask yourself, does this feeling make me feel safe? Or does it make me feel fear? Practice feeling your feelings. When we connect with our feelings, good or bad, we can learn the difference between intuition and insecurity. And then number six, spend time in nature. This is a big one on my list. Nature for me is a life force. It brings me clarity. I breathe in the ocean, the trees. I love being outdoors in nature. When we're in nature, it is easier to hear the whispers of your soul. It's easier to hear your inner voice, your intuition when your mind is quiet and open. We can just hear ourselves better. It's that whole thing with um like being alone with yourself i hope these practices help you guys um know the difference between intuition and insecurity it's an ongoing uh struggle with me um i've made very poor decisions uh, out of insecurity and uh, i look back now and i know that but um i've also made very good decisions out of intuition i have a quote and you know me i love my quotes The intuitive mind is a sacred gift, and the rational mind is a faithful servant. We have created a society that honors the servant and has forgotten the gift. And that's Albert Einstein. Okay, you guys, have a great week. Contact me, Donna Wisdom, on Instagram or Facebook. Uh, Subscribe to my podcast and leave me a review. I'd love to hear from you guys. Have a great week.